Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 17th of October 2025. Hope you are keeping well. It's Friday evening here in Bangkok. Work is over. All work is over for a while. Uh, and uh, I'll be back to playing regular games of Sudoku. Uh, well, starting tomorrow, I guess. Uh, and uh, I hope... Uh, uh, you'll be joining me as well. Uh, what's going on in the world? In the UK, uh, a few, three, in fact, neo-Nazis have been uh, sentenced to jail from between 8 and 11 years. Um, they're quite young, 30, age 35, 26, 25. So they'll still be reasonably young when they get out, I guess. Uh, but hopefully they will have lost their insane ideology. These are neo-Nazis who idolized Hitler, amassed a massive num uh, a, a, a number of weapons, uh, and planned for attacks on mosques and synagogues. Well, I suppose they're in doing it, their uh, extreme violence in equal measure. Um, and who knows what else? Uh, you know, of course, they have the normal regalia of Nazis and swastikas and knives and printed 3d guns and stuff like that and call themselves Führer so it's I'm glad I mean I don't really appreciate I don't, I don't think long print prison sentences are generally a good idea but in, in a case like this I think it's justified uh, hopefully these people will be able to learn that they are idiots and grow out of their uh, extreme racism and ideology and uh, you know fascist ideology whilst they are locked up let's hope so shall we get on with our game of sudoku then first game of the week for me <coughs> this is the guardians hard level sudoku puzzle we've got threes blocking across let's give ourselves a three in this square here why don't we uh, we've got eight going up here and eight going up here blocking i mean when i say going i mean blocking of course if you're new to the channel that's what i mean Uh, what else can you see? Help me out here. Weird to get back into Sudoku again. I'm not, see not seeing anything, so let's just uh, <coughs> click on the numbers and see what emerges <coughs> oh excuse me I'm, I started coughing because I'm speaking to you maybe there we go two blocking down there two blocking across there that will give us two in that square three blocking all of those squares there this three blocking that square this three blocking that square so in this row here's our three four blocking this square and this square so in this column here there's our four Eight blocking down here and across there and down here. What are we left with? Well, we're left with eight in either this square or this square, which means neither of those two squares can be eight. So this is our eight here. We'll take eights to the top and blocking across the top row as well.
three blocking across there. Four blocking to the top, there's a four. Five blocking this square and this square, so in that row there's our five. We're left here with one and two, I guess. Uh, uh, does that make that one or two? I guess it does. Uh, yeah, it seems to be right, okay. <coughs> Let's see what we're missing down here. Four, five, eight. So five is in one of those squares there, five blocks across there and five blocks down there. That will give me a five in that square. Two blocks this square, two blocks this square. Let's go in the other direction, blocking across here. That means that two has to be in one of these two squares and take it back to the right. So no two allowed here. That must be a two then. Five blocking up here, across there, there's a five. <coughs> five blocking up here, five across there. One blocks across here, that means one is in one of these two squares blocking down here, one blocking across there. That has to be a one. And one blocking this square, one blocking this square. So in this column, there's our one. Six stops this square from being a six. So in this column, there's our six. Last number for the column is a seven. <coughs> Still need a seven in this block down there. Seven blocks across here and there. There's a seven. Uh, I said before this was one and two, didn't I? So we can work out what goes there. It's not one or two. It's got to be six or nine. Does that help anything with anything? No, it does not. Oh well, never mind. <coughs> ah, we can get this. All we have to do is decide what goes there, and we decide that it's 7 and 9, <coughs> and so this is not. It must be a 6 then. 6 blocks across here, across there, and blocking there. There's our 6. 6 blocking to the top then. There's our 6 there. 6 and 4 in this row block across there. 6 and 4 block across there. So we have ourselves a pair of 6 and 4 in those squares, which is which, I don't know, but these squares cannot be 4 or 6. So they must be 2, 3, so I see the 3 blocking there, 3 blocking there, there's a 3. So this has to be 2 and 9, I think. So then 9 blocks across there, 9 blocks across there, that will be the 9 
there, this will be our two. One blocks across here and one blocks up there. There's our digit one. One blocking this way, one blocking down here. There's one. Now we can finish this column. Um, what no? What on earth do we need? Two, isn't it? Is that right? Two there, one there. Yeah. Okay. Still do not have any completed digits. We've done a lot here, but we don't have any finished digits just yet. Hopefully, we'll put that to right soon. What's missing from this row? We're looking for four. We're looking for seven. We're looking for eight. And since seven and eight are in the same column, I know that that's got to be a four. And this is seven and eight, so this is not. This has to be five and nine. Five blocking there. There's the five and there's the nine. And nine blocks across here. Is this our fi final nine? No, it's not. We still haven't finished a digit yet. Amazing. This is a seven. And the last number at the end of this row looks to be a two. Okay. Still no finished digit. This is about as far as I've ever got in a game without having a finished digit. At least one. Uh, one, two, three, four. No five in this column yet. Let's put it in. Uh, still no finished digit. This could be the last five though. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Yes, we've th we've got a green number on the screen here. I know you can't see my numbers, but anyway, it's turned green and it's not gangrene. It's our first completed digit. Thank goodness. Right. So let's see what else we need. Well, we still need everything except for fives. We got one blocking up here. That's a one. One goes across there. There's a one. That's now finished. The missing digit there is a two. Two blocks across there and two blocks up there. There goes a two and that's also finished now. Three blocks across here. That gives us a three in that square and that's finished now as well. Four. No, we can't finish the four. Let's put this instead. It's instead, that's a seven, I think. And seven blocking down will give us seven in that square. And seven blocking up here means that's the final digit seven. This missing number here is a four. Four blocking up here and across there means... Four is now... F no, he's not finished. I spoke too soon. Ah, there's one down here. That's the end of that. Missing digit here is an eight. Missing digit here is an eight. Uh, the only numbers left now are six and nine. Since I see a nine there, I know that's going to be a six. And now that's got to be a nine. And that's got to be a six. And that's got to be a nine. And that's our puzzle over and out. I'll see you over the weekend for lots of games of Sudoku. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.